Okay, so student in the previous class, we learn about that we have to be create a one egg and egg plate. And you have to place the egg on the plate and group them. So this is the plate, this is the egg. I already grouped them. This is the symbol of the ungrouping because I am grouped them. So it will be show the option of the ungrouping. Yes, if you're changing the height, please again revise the changes. First, uh, height and width will be 80 by 80 and the height will be 86 of the previous one. Now, what should you have to do? We are going for the next step that is the shelling the egg. We are going to shell the eggs here. So how can you shell the egg? For she uh, shelling the eggs, first of all, you have to take a duplicate of this. In the beginning, you think that, ma'am, what are you doing? How can we do that? Uh, sometimes you think that what's the need of this? Whenever we are nearest to complete our circuit, then you understood why I'm doing this one. Right? So now we have we are going to shell the egg. This is our one egg. Now we have to take a duplicate of this. This is the symbol of the duplicate, or you can press the control plus D. So this is the duplicate you can see here. Now, what should you have to do for the duplicate? Change, uh, this is 80 by 80, change it 77 by 77. I am exact taking the book size and height will be changed by 84. It's a slider smaller than the original one, right? Now, what should you have to do? You have to again go back to the original one. Click on the color and here you can see a one option of the transparent. You have to be made a transparent to it. Now place it. Now. Okay, again I will be show you. You have to be place the duplicate egg to the original egg. Now select the both the eggs and click on the align. This is the symbol of the align. Using of them, you can be do the center left or right of the shapes. This is center using of that you can be do a perfect uh, centering of the eggs. So it will be a proper centered. You can see that it will be fitted to the one. Now, what do you have to do next? I'm selecting again the both. Now, deselect the outer one, or you can directly select the inner one. Okay, again, I'm selecting. Deselecting the outer egg. Or you can directly select it like this. I'm pressing a shift and click on the center. So it will be a one shape over here. I'm checking by it's a transparent means I selected the outer egg. Okay, sorry. So, first of all, I'm selecting the both eggs. Now, deselect the first one. So, it will be selected the inner one. Oh, okay. Okay, now you have to be make a hole of the inner one. You can see it look like this. Then select the both and group them. So it will be a look like this after a grouping. It's a one type of circuit. You can see that.
I can make it whole. Select the board and group. Sorry, uh, I don't know why four shapes are selected here. Two shapes and group them. So it will be create again a one type of plate. Cannot be show you the perfect what is the thing. There will be a one covering, there will be a one shell, but you cannot see the shell over here. Now, second step is that adding a glow circuit assembly. For adding a glow circuit assembly, you have to go to the click on the Tinkercad shape. First is the basic shapes, goes down. You can see that in the circuits, click on the assemblies. This is the glow circuit assembly. Before that, you have to first add a one work plane. Then and then you compulsory add a one glow circuit. So how can we add a work plane? This is a work plane. Place it on the bottom of the egg. It will be added. Now, add our one glow circuit assembly here. I'm turning it. Okay, this is the glow circuit assembly. You have to be complete the sentences here. In the next step, there will be a creating a legs. That task I will be give to you that will be on the page number 35 of book already given to you. You have to be do nothing. Click on the characters. Whenever it goes down, there will be a chick foot one and you can duplicate it also. So it will be copied here. These two foods you have to be add and size will be given to you really size width is the 37.7 first okay i'm deleting and first do changing in this thirty seven point zero seven mm and the Height will be 26 and the length will be 41. Height will be a 41. And then you have to be do the duplicate of this. It's a duplicate moving. One thing you have to do, you have to be do the opposite of them. This is the, this will be on the 22 degree. And this will be on the minus 22 degree. Means both, both are looking like a opposition. Minus 22 degree. Right? Okay. So till here, you have to do a process. Take it like this. Okay, you have to complete till here. Aapko yaha tak karna hai. Then we go ahead for the next that we are making a hole. We are fitting the legs. And we create a one assembly. We have to be add this assembly onto the legs. In the next video, in the next virtual class, we are learning about that. Okay, so practice for this. Bye, everyone. Have a good day.